Now that I've got my hands on this Resiner's Smart Cure machine, I cannot stop making things. So I top coated these pieces that I made yesterday to test it out. And then I decided to finish up a bunch of little projects I have sitting around. Um, but aren't these so pretty? That first one is still my favorite always going to be my favorite. It's so cute. I also had some projects laying around that I wanted to put resin on as a glaze, but these items are either clay or ceramic. So I just wanted to see how that would affect the other products that I'm putting in there. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. They're all heat resistant, but we're gonna see how it works out. Before we get to the clay, and I said ceramic, but I am actually using perfect cast casting material. Um, before we get to those, these coasters, I used some leftover glass pieces that I mixed with varnish to line the coasters. And once that hardened, I poured the epoxy on top of that and I wanted to see what would happen if I put that in the machine. The varnish, it, it kind of turned to like glue again. So um, that melted, but it ended up thickening up again. So I think if I had just, or hardening, it ended up hardening again. So I think if I had just left it in the mold um, until it was completely cooled or maybe even, you know, for a couple hours, those um, that part wouldn't have been so pliable when I pulled it out of the mold. So this next piece is actually polymer clay that I formed into a tray um, and then I added that mixture of the glass and the varnish and I coated that with epoxy. On this one there is no issue. There's no melted um, varnish anywhere it's not like moving around at all so it must just be the exposed varnish that was an issue um, and you can see here that it's starting to harden again and the white is going back to clear so I think if I just leave it in the mold it should be fine I didn't love how these came out though so I put them back in and they are so pretty. Um, I tried to mix up a gold, but in person it looks more like shiny peanut butter. Um, but it's it's really cute. Um, the sides actually are fine. After going in a second time, I was worried about you know those melting down again. Um, and then I made some little oval pieces here just because I had some extra and there was some white paint at the bottom of the thing that I used. So it got speckled in there, but those are actually kind of cute. Um, these next pieces I have in here are um, the perfect cast. Um, and one of them I had used like a deep pouring glaze but it wasn't epoxy it was just um, like an art glaze and I just did not like the clarity of it so I repainted the moons and added a coat of epoxy it's still a little cloudy underneath because of that um, art resin or not resin uh, I don't really know what that stuff was it's clear coat um, and then this other one i'm so upset a little bit of that peanut buttery resin color dripped down so i i am from now on going to do these in the um trays and then set the trays you know on top of each other so these princess posters i'm going to show you next are made with polymer clay then perfect cast and then glazed with epoxy and they are so 
cute. This Rapunzel one, I had tried, you know, that same art um, top coat and it just got messy and gross because it takes like 24 hours, but really it takes longer. Um, you can't tell on this, on this uh, Princess Tiana one, I was able to conceal it pretty well, but aren't these so cute? 